friends. Welcome back to Making Calls with Mudflap. Special edition this time. Mudflap goes on a road trip. That's right. Taking my tattoo tour 2020 to Calgary to get some tattoos done at Smiling Buddha. I've got this old one from 36 years ago that uh, Paul Jeffrey's going to rework for me. So come along for a little trip. I'm leaving the family, take care of the homestead while I venture to another province. We'll see you shortly and stay tuned. Welcome to Making Clouds with Mudflap, my friend. Glad you could join me today. I got a little story to tell you about uh, a little trip I took about, uh, well, it's pretty much a month ago now. In the middle of July, we decided to, uh, well, it's not that we decided to, we had a tattoo appointment that was rescheduled from way back in... April, middle of April, it was actually three months later that the tattoo came. I got to drive down to Calgary to uh, get some work redone. Now, I left here early on the Wednesday morning, drove about a thousand kilometers to Golden, BC, spent the night there. We finally had our resting spot tonight, Golden, BC. Have a little after dinner mint. Uh, stopped in for a quick uh, burg and a few beers. At the restaurant across the street there. And it was really, really kind of weird for me. Yeah. Not so much uh, the COVID bullshit. I mean, they were, they were serving inside. It was, the only thing wasn't, Every table was filled, but it was fairly busy. But it's the freaking uh, just being out in public kind of thing. I'm not used to being out with people anymore, living in the middle of freaking nowhere. So that was the weirdest part about it all. Food was actually pretty good. I had a burger and a few beers. So yeah, it uh, was very different being out. But uh, we'll head out tomorrow morning and get the old tattoo done and. <laughs> see where we go from there but we made it here it was uh, 817 kilometers and nine hours so not too bad a couple stops in between but uh we're gonna finish this off and call her a night and we will talk to you guys tomorrow hey there's my smoking spot yeah so i got to drive to calgary the next morning to go to the smiling buddha tattoo shop the gentleman who I went to see there, Paul Jeffries, he originally did this Griffin tattoo back in 1986. So the chance to get uh, a, a legend in the tattoo industry to redo a piece of work that was my second tattoo when I was 21, um, I couldn't pass it up. The gentleman uh, is retiring next spring possibly, so the fact that I got to get in there and get this uh, redone was fabulous. I was very lucky to, to do so. Uh, quite a few of the tattooists that I have been tattooed by have worked in that shop. Uh, Mike Austin, who's done the majority of my work. Brian Gratton, who's done my stuff from Williams Lake here. Another gentleman, Kerry Irvine, who's not with us anymore, did a Hanya on my leg. So yeah, it was kind of nice reminiscing with Paul about all these other gentlemen that worked in his shop and uh, learned the trade from him. He, like I said, he's a legend and he's a master and just the uh, camaraderie that we got to share uh, discussing all the old, uh, old old tattoos and, and people that have been around and for somebody to appreciate the work uh, and and that that I have it, it's it was really nice for me it was a special moment uh, I thoroughly felt uh, welcome there um, the, the shop people were freaking amazing uh, Lindsay uh, very accommodating I did happen to buy this wonderful t-shirt when I was there 40 year anniversary of the shop for that. And there was also this book that I purchased, the 25 year history, which he did personalize for me too, upon my visit there. But uh, yeah, I can't say enough about that. Uh, it took about four hours to redo this Griffin. And then when he was redoing that, he was noticing my tiger, which was about 32 years old. That it was quite faded and that because he was putting a little background in this 
and the wind bars up here that this was going to look pretty pretty outdated and he said would you like me to redo that too i was like boom thanks i can't believe you offered to do that i didn't actually want to offer uh ask him to do that for me so the fact that he offered to do it that was huge well my friends looks like we've found our destination So there was two tattoos redone in Calgary. This one, which was originally done by Paul Jeffries, and the tiger below it. Originally, this was not supposed to be redone. And then the filler that was put in around this too to complete that part of the arm. Uh, I spent the afternoon there drove uh, back to Golden BC that day. Uh, it was about three hours, uh, 300 kilometers or so, uh, right in the center of the Rockies. It, uh, it's a beautiful place to stay. Spent the night there, got up the next morning, and boom, was going to Kelowna to get another tattoo. Actually, it ended up being two tattoos uh, at Dynamic Studios in Kelowna. Yeah, I saw James Kramer there. Uh, he was the one recommending me to me to do the uh, photorealism type tattoo that I was looking for because I got this one here of my cat Haley and a uh, maple leaf skull, which I'll show you here. The second day consisted of my maple leaf with a skull. I was really looking for both of those things start to help to fill in the old chest and that, but uh, yeah, another great experience. That was about five hours of tattooing there. And then it's an eight-hour drive home from there. So it took about three days to do my little tour. Two provinces, two shops, two artists, four tattoos. 2,400 kilometers. That's uh, what the round trip was. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad for gas, actually. Um, Price-wise, I guess it's a good time to travel right now uh, with the gas prices down a little bit. But... Yeah, just a phenomenal uh, trip for me. Karen didn't actually get to come along with me for this one. She always kind of got to have somebody home, take care of the homestead and such. But uh, it was just a go, go, go kind of trip anyways. A lot of driving each day and uh, not a lot of rest in between. The one thing that I did want to put in here about the difference between the two shops was how they bandaged their tattoos. The old original tattoos that were redone were, were bandaged the old style way with the saran wrap and the and the uh, the padding or the gauze padding. The other one was done with a Santa derm, and I'll show you what that's like. Like I said, don't mind the sweat. Just got done the training. So this tattoo was done five days ago with a 24-hour bandage. It's uh, scabbing up a little bit, a little dry, but other than that, it's healing like a normal bandage. Uh, wood on a tattoo where he kept it on for the day. The second one, which I haven't shown anybody yet, is these two tattoos, which have the Saniderm application of a bandage. I don't know if anybody knows too much about that, but um, originally when I got those bandages before, I was told 24 hours then to take them off. This time I was told four to five days. We're at day four now. The only time you're supposed to take it off earlier is if it gets fluid or something underneath. It might stay pretty dry, but now with being sweaty and all that, we thought we'd try and remove uh, these and uh, see how it kind of looks. But 
yeah, it's very different. It's probably not going to be fun because I have a fa fairly hairy chest. And they didn't. They didn't shave the whole chest. Don't laugh at me, my woman. I know you're just loving this. Oh, it's like a, a skin coming off. Oh, I've got sweat dripping out from the the, the training. I gotta I gotta put my beard up. Aaron, you got a clip on here? There you do. I'm sorry, I gotta use your hair clip from a beard, baby. I know, gross, huh? That's me after training. All right, now I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, oh look at how it's pulling the skin and the hair off there. It's not just beautiful. Oh. Uh, not like the tattoo is more, more easy to get than that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ugh. It's attached to the other one. I guess the other one's attached. But, yeah, you can see my dark Canadian skull. And it looks like it's got the same amount of scab as the other one. We'll see how it heals up. Oh, that was not fun. You're not done yet. And this is a portrait of my cat, Haley. Oh, I swear some of the tattoo was easier than this. Oh, ooh, nice and gunky, huh? That's how that bandage worked after four days. Pretty funky, huh? So it's a little bit different of a bandage. I've had that kind of before. Um, you get less flaking and and um, scabbing from the Saniderm. They both ended up after three weeks looking about the same anyway. So um, if I had to choose, I probably would choose the old traditional way because as you've seen from taking that off, uh, that wasn't too fun. But other than that, I did have a wonderful drive through the Rockies. I've never driven through the Rockies in the summer before, so that was phenomenal for me. Uh, eye candy for sure. Not sure if the GoPro is going to relay how beautiful the sights were along the way, but I did take some footage and have a tune to it here if you want to cruise along with me while I kind of went there and then a little bit of the way back through Revelstoke and that, but mind-blowingly beautiful. Other than that, my friends, we will be talking to you soon. Thanks for joining me on this little tattoo tour that was very meaningful for me, and hopefully you enjoyed it too. Peace and love, my friends. Be proud of those clouds.